this is what I deal with. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Hey, good afternoon guys. It is a dreary Thursday. It has just been raining non-stop all day today. Um, so yeah. It's just the weather just kind of makes you feel gloomy. But I am making taco soup in the crock pot for me and Macy for dinner, and it smells really good. Oh yeah, it looks really colorful. It smells really good. I haven't added in the meat yet because I forgot to lay it out to thaw, so I'm just gonna cook it here in a little bit and then add it to the soup. And then we, when we get back from our workout, dinner will be ready. I love cooking stuff in the crock pot. It just makes it easy. You just kinda, you know, put everything in there and it cooks by itself and it's easy. So yeah, I'm, uh, we're gonna eat that. Kind of chill around here, I guess. Probably need to clean the kitchen. But I'm about to edit the vlog, and Macy should be getting off work here pretty soon. Good evening, guys. We are just sitting around. Will is actually putting up dinner in a to-go container. We ate, like, as soon as I got home, and it was delicious. He put, like, bell peppers and green peppers in it, which he's never really done before. And then we like to top it with some tortilla chips and some cheese. Cream and we'll put sour cream on his so it was really good um, I'm very glad that he made that that was a good choice for today because it was so rainy and kind of dreary outside he is just over there putting it up in the to-go container and Griffin as always is there just in case anything drops <laughs> where he might need two containers we always make a lot of soup with this is that all of it no there's more uh there's like chunky, like the stuff in the crock pot. All the liquid is like in here. You gotta put the leftover chunky stuff. Yeah, we are definitely going to need to split it to two containers. I feel like that's usually the case. Yeah, it is. But Griffin, he cracks me up. Like you don't even like that stuff, Griff. You don't want soup. Bill did all the dishes. Look at that. Not a thing in the sink. Oh, yeah, there is. <laughs> Way to go, Will. But this is our drying stack. I probably should dry those. I am washing a few loads of laundry um, and I vacuumed a little bit today. So it's been kind of productive. We also watched the first episode of Below Deck, which is a show that comes on Bravo about the, um, like, I don't know, what do you call them? Like the people that work on a on a yacht, the yacht that gets chartered, crew, yeah. the yacht crew. Charter. So like the stewards um, or stewardesses, stewardesses? Stewardesses. Stewardesses. And the deck crew and then like the captain and they like have to, you know, and the chef. So they like cook and serve and clean the boat and all those things for the guests that charter the boat. And watch the past two seasons and this one's a little bit different because it's like a whole new crew except for the chef is the same. So it's below deck Mediterranean. Yes, this is below deck Mediterranean. We usually just watch below deck Caribbean, I guess. They're in the Caribbean. Um, but it was really good. I mean, I'm still getting used to the new characters, but I love me some reality TV. So I'm ready to watch another episode, but I'm sure we'll, we'll need to wait a few days. Because we did start recording it a little bit behind. Um, I think it's on episode five, so we just like recorded a bunch of the reruns to to catch it. But you should check it out if you've never seen it. It's probably yeah. one of my one of the better reality shows that I watch because reality TV for me it's like some, it's hit or miss. Some reality TV shows are good, some are not so good. But you love reality TV, so well, okay. Hey, like, reality TV is probably your favorite genre. It is, but I don't watch the crap like keeping up with the Kardashians no. or anything like that. Like, I'm a sucker for TLC, like, but I don't watch that stuff on a regular basis. But like, yeah, if I'm just hanging out on a Saturday, like, I'll watch the Say Yes to the Dress or whatever that's on, but. So let us know in the comments if you prefer reality TV or non-reality TV. It's yeah. Fiction, I guess, TV. And what's your favorite TV show? Because yeah. we are looking for, you're too tall. 
We are looking for new TV shows to watch either on Netflix or on TV. We have a bunch of blind spots recorded, which we love, but Will has not really been in the mood for it lately. So we haven't been watching that one either. We're like five or six episodes behind. So, and I just watch my YouTube vlogs like all day, every day. So I was just looking at our kitchen appliances and I realized that we have a different brand for each of the four kitchen appliances we have. They're all stainless steel, but we have different brands. So let me show you. We have a Frigidaire dishwasher, a Whirlpool stove and oven, an LG microwave, and a Samsung refrigerator. I don't think it really matters that they're all different brands, but it might be one of those things like when we decide to sell our house someday, if the potential buyer comes in, they're like, why do you have different brands for all your appliances? I mean, I don't, I wouldn't care as a buyer, but it's just kind of a funny observation. We only bought two of them. We only bought our refrigerator and our microwave. That's true. The rest is, well, the stove and the dishwasher were here and they did that, not us. That's true. When we moved in, they had they had a they had a vent hood instead of the microwave and they had their microwave like on a table in their dining room which is so weird why would you do that and they remodeled the kitchen so they chose to do that which i still just think is crazy sorry i look so short guys <laughs> there you go i tried to buy a frigidaire microwave when we moved in but i couldn't why could i not I don't remember. I think we chose the LG because it was No, cheap. I tried to buy the Frigidaire one, but they were like out at Home Depot. They didn't have like one in stock or something. So I just went with the LG one because when we moved in, the previous homeowners did not have a microwave there. They had just a regular vent hood and then they put their microwave on a table in the dining room, which we just thought was a little crazy, especially since they had remodeled this kitchen and chose that. And I just think, why would you choose to like put your microwave in the dining room and not save space? Anyways, we changed it within the first few days of moving in and it has been amazing. This is what I deal with. He yawns now and acts like he's super tired and then like last night, he lays in bed for 30 minutes, can't sleep, and gets up to play an hour of video games and then showers at 2 a.m. Hey, but I had my pre-workout. Was it 1 a.m. or 2 a.m.? When did I you shower? I showered at 2. My pre-workout, I took my pre-workout yesterday. I didn't take pre-workout today, so I'll probably fall asleep pretty good, yeah, pretty easily tonight. Yeah, you better, because I don't know why it makes me angry. I didn't really lose sleep, but it upsets me, because it's annoying. You should be in bed at a reasonable hour. I think I officially just watched like 20, well, that's an exaggeration. I probably watched about eight vlogs all in a row. I just laid in bed and caught up on all my vlogs. I watched probably, let's see, I watched, I think I watched four vlog channels, but one of those they only do weekend vlogs. So I watch four pretty consistently, so that would be three a day and then four on the weekends. But I love them, so it was really good to catch up on those while Will is playing some video games in the living room. Now I'm just about to finish doing some laundry, got some more towels to fold, and then I plan on hitting the hay because I have got to get up for work early in the morning. I like to get an early start to my Fridays so that I can usually leave the office a little bit earlier. And my goal was to get there early this morning too, but I completely slept through my alarms. Not only slept through like my four alarms on my phone, I turned all of them off in my sleep. Four. Anyways, enough about my boring accounting job. But I'm going to go ahead and say goodnight. So if you like the vlog, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all